this is just a conspiracy theory. Don't worry about it. Don't look into it. Don't think about it. Let's talk about it. So we've all heard of these plants, these food processing plants, and everything that's been happening with that. And apparently there was an article put out recently that that's just a conspiracy theory. But something keeps happening, things keep happening, and now something's happening with our trains. So look out for this to be labeled a conspiracy theory as well. But how many times does it take for something to be a coincidence before it is a conspiracy? And it's not a theory, it's just a conspiracy, okay? So how many times does it take? One, two, three, five, ten times? This keeps happening and this keeps, these, it keeps piling up these stories. And now our trains and our railways are possibly being sabotaged as well. So let's dive into these headlines of how many incidents there's been just recently. This is just in the past couple weeks we're gonna cover, not to mention before that. But let's cover that and then we'll get into why I think this is happening. So make sure you stay tuned because there's actually a lot of evidence for my theory of why this is happening. And it's also evidence of why it could be spreading even further. So let's dive into these headlines really quick. So a couple of these headlines are related to the same incident in Pittsburgh, but it just goes to show of how big of a disaster this could be. And there's also been multiple incidents, but just a warning, yeah, some of these are related, but just one train derailment can cause multiple problems. So let's dive in, there's like five or six different headlines I wanna to get to really quick. So it says portion of the Allegheny River remains closed after train derailment. That's May 27, 2022, CBS Pittsburgh. I think this is out of the Pittsburgh Gazette. It says EPA derailed train and harbor leaked 3000 gallons of petroleum into waterways. That's May 29, 2022. Oil leak from derailment near Pittsburgh closes river. May 27th, 2022. Train derailed in Jefferson, Texas, May 28th, 2022. Two derailments within five days underscores dangerous conditions on Canada's railways. This is May 27th, 2022. And then also specifically one of those, 43 CP rail cars carrying potash derailed near Fort McLeod, Alberta. RCMP says. So 43 rail cars carrying potash were, were derailed in Canada. So that's a lot of fertilizer. If you don't know what potash is, that's a critical chemical for farming and fertilizers. And 43 rail cars of it was just derailed, not to mention all these other rail cars. So this is happening things keep accelerating these are all within the last week or so guys a little over a week and a half that this has happened okay and i'm sure if we went back there would be many more so what do you think's going on my theory on this is it could possibly be cyber attacks okay this could be sabotage espionage anything along those lines because that's what happens in 21st century warfare okay cyber attacks food supplies, supply chains are targeted. That's what happens. And there actually is evidence to back this up. There's been warnings and countries have already had cyber attacks on their railways. So let's dive into that really quick too. So this says, rail transit vulnerable to cyber attacks, experts say. And that was February 23rd, 2022. So just a couple months ago, they were warning that the rail transits are vulnerable to this. And then it started happening in other countries around the world. And in January of 2022, this happened. Why the Belarus railway hack marks the first for ransomware. And it says the politically motivated attack represents a new frontier for hacktivists and won't be the last of its kind. So Belarus already had its railways hacked in January. And also Italy had a railway hack. It says Italy's state railway may have been target 
of cyber attack. And that's Reuters, March 23rd, 2022. All just a couple months ago, other countries have been targeted. They've been warning about it. And now all of a sudden our railways are just derailing and Canadian railways are derailing as well. So this is definitely a possibility for what's happening. That was also a possibility for what happened with these food processing plants is that it could have cyber attacks. There could be, you know, boilers hacked to overheat, things like that. All the trains now are electronic, okay? The conductor barely does anything. All the switches are electronic. So it would be easy to hack this, okay? And you might think, okay, this is just a couple of trains. Okay, well, if all these incidents that we report on and we talk about are just 0.1%, how many does it take to add up to a significant percentage, okay? All these things just add up constantly and it's just picking away at our food supply and the supply chain. Guys, it took decades to build these supply chains and to build all this infrastructure for our country to excel the way that it does right now. And if you start just plucking away these things one by one, we talked about how power plants are being shut down. This is the shutdown of America. All these little things are being shut down little by little. And people were even saying, hey, maybe the answer to the diesel crisis is to have trains, things like that. Well, now look what's happening to the trains, guys. So this is crazy. This is nuts. I don't mean to laugh. It's just, yeah, it just blows my mind that this just keeps happening. So let me know what you guys think. What are you doing this Memorial Day? Thank you to all the veterans out there. Thank you guys so much for your service. And I hope all those people that have lost veterans and their family I hope you guys have blessings in your family and I hope you guys are healing because I know how hard that is. My dad was a veteran. He was in the Air Force and he passed away almost 10 years ago now. So it wasn't, he didn't pass away in the service, um, but he was a veteran. So rest in peace to all the veterans that have fallen and I salute you and we thank you. We are so grateful for you, for our freedoms and everything like that. So rest in peace. I salute you. We are blessed to have you. I'm blessed to have everyone watching. I hope you guys have blessings in your life too. And you guys have a blessed day. Thanks guys.